Hi, my name is Lala Tomas. I am the older sister of Kaniela and Ayala Stewart. So growing up in Hawaii on Oahu, um, I grew up in Waikiki Beach. You would never know because we're all mixed in the tourists, um, but we have a big community here. I got into surfing because my mom and my dad both surf and they both met on Waikiki Beach. Um, that's how all of us got into surfing because they just love surfing so much they wanted to pass it down to us. Same for me and my husband, we both met on Waikiki Beach and we wanted to pass surfing on to our children as well. The first wave I ever rode, I don't remember. My mom says I was six months, do not remember. Um, the first board I ever owned, I think it was a chemo green. I'm not positive. It could have been a chemo green, it could have been a TNC, and it could have been um, a Danny Tamante board. Growing up in a family of all boys, one, I couldn't play with a lot of girl toys, so I like had two dolls and that was it. Um, they were Cabbage Patch dolls. I basically am the leader per se, so whatever I did, they followed. So I had to keep it very boyish, which made me a tomboy. I have two kids. One's a boy, one's a girl. Oh, what the, okay, okay. Yes. Um, <laughs> that's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's my girl. Okay. Um, so my boy is 12, his name is Po'i, and then my girl is Ehukai, her, uh, she is 10. The reason I, me and my husband both wanted to pass surfing on to my, our kids is because, one, because we love it, two, is because of their names. Um, Po'i's full name is Ale Po'i Pono, which means Righteous Breaking Surf and then ehukai means mist of the ocean. So we have our righteous breaking wave with the mist coming off. Something special I want everybody to know about me is that I put Jesus Christ first. My hoops, my hoops are, <laughs> I don't know why I wear hoops in the water. It's just a part of me. Um, yeah, it's an accessory all of these. <laughs> I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I'm going to keep that in. It's authentic. And it was some girl, she was admiring your hoops. She's like, oh my God, look at her hoops. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. It just, I don't remember to take off any of my jewelry so that they just stay on. Awesome. Yeah. Me and Connie are the, okay, so if, if you ask anybody the craziness level, I'm first, <laughs> Connie's second, and they all are super cruise. Yeah, yeah, he's so cruise. <laughs> really small talk, like, he's like, I don't even know who you are, why are you talking? Yeah, oh. he, also, also, I think it's also because me and Connie both our job professions require us to be like to start conversations and to keep it going. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That makes sense. yeah. Like he's a surf. Al is a surf instructor too. So if you um, have him as a teacher, he'll talk with you just the same as we are now. But for him to go out of his way and start a conversation, very rare. Very rare. Yes. Awesome. But his personality is like my mom's. So my mom, if you start a conversation with her, she'll keep it going, but you have to be the one to start the conversation. <laughs> yes. Your mom is so grateful in the water. Thank you. Yeah. Um, the craziest part is, so my mom's from here, and then my dad's from Washington, D.C. Um, so he moved here when he was 19, I believe, and he like instantly was drawn to the ocean and he started working on the beach. My mom didn't start surfing till she was like 20, 19, 20, I believe. And it was because, um, kind of because of him, like he would chase her between Queens and canoes. <laughs> I've only been to DC once and that was when I was, I think two or three. 
Um, I've never been there. I mean, I've never been there when I was older, yes. Um, I want to go, I want to take my kids there. Um, there's so many pictures that I have of the Smithsonian and the Lincoln Memorial, and I want to take my kids to see that, yeah.